Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last autumn fashion video, which by the way, I'm so happy that so many of you found helpful. I absolutely loved creating that video and just hearing the feedback was amazing. So I'm definitely gonna keep trying to do more helpful videos for you now and hopefully this one today will be another one. So if you did watch that video, you'll remember that I mentioned that I really wanted to do some videos where I take one piece from my wardrobe, like one staple kind of, you know, investment piece that a lot of us already have and then show you lots of ways to style it. So again, really just encouraging you to kind of use what you have and rewear and just to really give you some ideas on how to wear and use what you already have. So today I'm going to kick off this little one piece several ways styling video series with the good old trusty black blazer i personally have a few different black blazers in my wardrobe it is by far one of my most worn categories i wear and wear and wear and it's just one of those pieces that i never get sick of and i know that lots of you probably also have a black blazer so i figured it would be helpful today to show you different ways to style this and really easy ways to style this as well but ways you can like immediately feel good and put together and chic and just good to go so the blazer i'm going to show you with all the outfits today is my judith and charles blazer and i absolutely adore this blazer so much if it's still available on their site i'll of course link it down below and if not i'll be sure to link lots of really good other options that i recommend this one's quite an oversized style, a bit of a boxy fit to it. Shoulder pads can easily be worn open or closed or belted. It's just such a versatile piece. And while I'm here, before we get into the outfit section, I do want to show you a quick trick because you'll see in a lot of the outfits that I actually wear the sleeves up on the blazer quite a bit. And my number one trick for keeping the sleeves up is to get two hair bubbles. Make sure they're not too tight so the blood doesn't stop flowing. Pop them onto the sleeves, make sure they're like secure and then push the sleeve up and just adjust accordingly so you can see the hair ties and I guarantee you those sleeves will not budge. So a little pro tip before we get into the outfit. So that's the blazer. I'm going to show you actually 10 different ways to style a black blazer. I have all the outfits ready to go behind me, super organized. And how I'm gonna do this video is actually, I'm gonna show you five different outfit formulas, I'm gonna call them. So it'll be 10 outfits, but five formulas. So it'll be kind of easy for you to remember when you go to your wardrobe, you can think, oh, that was like combination number three Erica talked about, I'm gonna put this together. And you'll see more what I mean now once I get into it. And hopefully you'll find it really helpful and as always I'll show you the outfits on I'll talk through them you'll see them styled and yeah I think that's everything for the intro so I won't waffle on too much more let's get straight into the outfit section so outfit number one and two is part of my jeans and accessories formula and what does this mean so for these two outfits I'm going to show you side by side similar how I did in the last video and for this black blazer outfit styling idea all you need is a good pair of blue denim either a black or white t-shirt and some accessories you love super simple way to style a black blazer I'm pretty sure you've seen this over and over again but it's just one of these styles that never ever goes out of fashion it's always going to be on trend you're always going to feel chic and put together and stylish and there's just something about less is more when it comes to outfits that I love and there's something so chic when I see a girl wear this kind of a style so really easy to create I'll link everything and like all the options down below the jeans I have are H&M I think the t-shirts are a mix of Zara and Marks and Spencer's my boots are secondhand Celine I'm sure lots of you have variations of these in your wardrobe um, already and then when it comes to accessories it's definitely great to have a few good options so as you'll see for one of the outfits I used a gold chain, really simple, this is a vintage one I have for a while and then another really good styling idea for a blazer is to pop on a brooch. So I have my YSL and Chanel ones that I've been collecting kind of over the past couple of years and just even popping that on to the black blazer makes such a difference and just elevates the style so quickly and so easily. So that is formula number one and outfit number one and two. Thank you. 
Okay, and then number two, I love a sweater dress, blazer, and knee-high boots combination. You'll probably have already seen me wear these two outfits, especially the black sweater dress. I wore this in my last video, and I love wearing this under blazer, black boots, and I'm literally ready to go, so simple and easy. And then if you follow me on Instagram, which is at RetroFlame, I share lots of outfits over there. You'll also have seen me wear this outfit recently. It's a knit vest from H&M, a white shirt and a belt. And again, this is such a cool look and you pop on your black blazer over it. And there's just something about kind of a more chunky, like longer, looser dress and then a chic, sleek blazer over it. That's just so nice. And I love seeing outfits like this. So again, two options for some sweater dresses. I'll link some similar options down below and a really easy one always to, to go for. Okay, number three, the belted look. And for these two looks, I want to stick with all black because there's something I just think that is so timeless about an all black outfit. If you follow me for a while, and hello, <laughs> look at me today. I love all black, especially since I moved to New York, but it really is something that, again, it's never gonna go out of trend. So for outfits five and six, I stuck to all black. So as you can see, for one of the outfits, I just did really simple black polo neck, black skinny jeans, a belt around the middle, and very, very simple boots. And then for the other look, I went with just nothing inside the blazer, belted really nice, like cinched in on the waist, super flattering. And then I decided to go for a flared trouser. So it kind of gives that illusion of a suit almost, but these two aren't matching. And this would also be really cool, even with a different color trousers, like a camel or a white, it doesn't have to be all black. I wanted to just show you that option today. And again, just a style that's so beautiful and so many different body shapes and body types and I love I love a good <laughs> belted blazer look I have my YSL belt as you can see here I also have a vintage Chanel that I love and you don't have to have a super expensive belt like once it's just really classic um, and just kind of neutral almost it's absolutely perfect so root out whatever belts you have and you'll make it work for sure Formula number four, which is the skirt and short vibe. Okay, so for the first look you'll see me chatting about here, I have black shorts, a chunky knit, and of course, the black blazer over. This is just such a chic look. I actually saw this, I think, on Pinterest or somewhere that I was looking for inspiration and I saw a girl style this like chunky knit and more fitted shorts and I just thought it was so cool. And obviously you can add tights, you don't have to wear legs out. Places like New York right now, it can kind of be still pretty warm some days. So I probably will get away with this look for a little bit longer, but of course feel free to add you know, tights or whatever you want. And then just in case you're not maybe into shorts, you prefer skirts, I wanted to show you like one option for each. So a plain leather skirt, I actually have two options here, but you'll see me wearing one now. And then a white, simple, easy, crisp shirt inside the blazer. I kept my sleeves out just to give more of like a dramatic effect but again such an easy outfit we all have a white shirt i'm sure a lot of us do have a leather skirt pop on boots and you're ready to go so they are two ideas for your shorts and skirts as you have in your wardrobe Okay, and last but not least, number five and outfits nine and 10, I wanted to show you some trouser looks and keeping the same color tone. So the first color I went for is like a beige cream, just a simple cigarette trousers, a ribbed fitted knitted top inside, simple heels, such an easy look, always, always looks chic. And then the other look is the wide leg option of a camel trousers, a very, very thin, easy to style ribbed polo neck, blazer over, and just another really classic look. So these are just some options of how possibly you could dress up a blazer. Like obviously right now, not many of us have that many places to be going, but just in case you maybe still are going to an office or you still have some, uh, 
like events or meetings to attend or you just want to dress up for yourself going for dinner i think at the moment any excuse i get to dress up i'm taking it so this is the kind of look now i would wear if i did have a meeting with somebody or i had to go somewhere like there is the odd things that are on here and there so it's nice to have some dressed up options as well and even with the cream look that i showed you you could easily pop on a pair of boots with this as well and kind of casual it down you could belt it um it's nice with the brooch there's just lots of options so they are the 10 outfits and i hope you like them I really hope you found that helpful. Like all my videos, I really wanna just format them in an easy to watch, easy to follow type way. So I figured it'd be a good idea just to show you like five different outfit combinations and then different ways to style those combinations. Just in case you don't have certain pieces, you know, I'm trying to make sure that I'm catering to a lot of you because we all have different wardrobes, but hopefully you can mix and match from some of the things I showed you today. As I mentioned, definitely shop your wardrobe first. I'm a big Big advocate of that of course I love getting some new things and I do have some new bits ordered which hopefully I will show you soon but more than ever this year before I've ordered anything or like added to my wardrobe I've really been trying to look at what I have already so look at what you have first yourself and then if there are some bits you need to add then you have a better and clearer vision of that and I will go through everything now and I'll link everything down below similar options similar styles I'll try to make sure as well that I have different price points so that you know it caters for everybody and if you have any questions as always be sure to let me know in the comments give the video a thumbs up if you found this helpful that really helps me to know if you know these videos are worth doing and if you're liking them and of course as well if you can subscribe to my channel it is so helpful lots of you subscribed after the last video and it honestly just makes me so grateful and so happy and it helps my channel so much i always say that but it really really does and of course be sure to follow me on instagram if you don't already it's at retro flame i post daily over there different outfits on my stories so i would love to have you over there with me as well and with that i will leave it there thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye